Hello and welcome everybody, it's Jay Woods here with my final Nintendo Switch preview video. These are thanks to Nintendo flying us in for their New York Nintendo Switch preview event, where we got footage for various things. This one actually had pretty cool capture. Uh, this is for 1-2 Switch, and they had the gameplay at the bottom, and a camera that was recording everybody in this big glass room, but it was all through one HDMI cable. So this is actually all coming through my own capture uh, card. It was just all through their one thing that blended these sources, which I thought was cool. The only thing that's a little difficult is it. everything appears mirrored. So for example, my wife and I were gonna do a, uh, a shootout, but um, my character will be on the left of the screen at the bottom, Renee's will be on the right. This one, you look each other in the eye, when they say draw or fire, uh, you raise your hand and fire. It's like a, like an old school duel. You can actually see Renee gets the jump on me in terms of getting her arm up. But when we go back to the footage on the in the game, I win. Again, it's mirrored, so this is throwing it off a little bit. Because she actually pulled the trigger early. So they do require you to actually lift the gun. They can like sense it with gyro. You need to lift the gun up and fire. Um, like in that order. You can't fire first and then just put your arm up. So uh, she had a uh, an itchy trigger finger there. It didn't work out in the end. This, ne <laughs> this next game, I forgot about this. Milk, you milk cows. Um, it is ridiculous. It is the kind of game that you would play to humiliate your friends for this horrible motion. Look at, look at, I, the worst part is, again, mirrored, so I, <laughs> I'm the left udder. I didn't I didn't quite get it. Um I understood at the end. They said like you have to press the two buttons alternating, but what they meant to say was you hold the top button and then you press the bottom button as your hand goes down. Like you can see in the picture. Um you're not supposed to let go of the top button. It's the same you, you got to take that milk at the top and slide it down like you're really milking a cow. Unfortunately, I've never milked a cow. So um <laughs> We've apparently got a lot to learn here. You can now see the MPS or milks per second. Uh, I lost the pathetic two compared to Renee's 11. So, um, <laughs> that's milk. This so next one, ball count, is a look at the new HD rumble features on the Nintendo Switch. Where you're supposed to just slide the Joy-Con around with your fingers over the top of it. So you can sort of feel uh, a bunch of little marbles rolling around inside of it. It's supposed to simulate that anyway. This is almost like a braggers game. Like Nintendo's like bragging, like, oh, look, look how cool our rumble is. You can really feel the balls. <laughs> but um, I actually spent quite a bit of time with it to get an idea of how their HD rumble feels. It's definitely, it feels unlike any other rumble I felt on a controller. It's missing a little bit in terms of like simulating this exact scenario just because um, in real life, if I'm sliding a bunch of marbles in a box left and right, um, you can like hear them clang against the end of the box and you don't really get that tactile feel here. It's just like a, a harder rumble. You can definitely feel them slide back and forth, but you can't really, I couldn't really feel them like click or bounce uh, off the walls especially. So I could get a general idea of how many were in here, but... I wasn't sure. Renee clocked in at three. I felt more than three, so I guessed five. I wasn't 100% sure you could even see my face. <laughs> Confused wits. It was four. So it was accurate enough for us to get in the general ballpark of how many marbles were inside of it, but not quite. That said, I guess in real life, if I had to cover my ears and guess how many marbles were in a box, because like I couldn't hear them rolling around, I don't know how good I would be <laughs> with that in real life either. This final game is a ping pong game. I'm gonna actually talk over this one mostly just to wrap up my thoughts. Um, you can all see the light is turning us into angels. This one's especially awkward with the mirrored camera. You're supposed to hit the ball back and forth rhythmically. Um, and there's two different like trick attacks that you have. You can hit up a lob and you can hit a smash. Both of them have different audio cues that force your opponent to either react very quickly um, or more slowly depending on what you hit. And if you swing at the wrong time, it'll say, you know, too slow, too early, etc. It's like there, um, it was too slow. I get up to like a quick 3-0 lead. Rennie comes back with a couple. Um, but overall, I think this was maybe my least favorite game. Aside from the milk one, which I, I clearly didn't understand. 
Um, it works, but it just didn't quite feel like ping pong. Um, I, I mean, it's not like this is going to be a real simulation. It's not like Wii Bowling felt like real bowling, but it was still fun. I guess I just, uh, I couldn't quite get into it the same way. I felt like as soon as somebody dropped a special attack, it was just really easy for them to not react to it. It's the kind of game maybe if you played it a long time with two people that were really into it, you could get a deep metagame with it. But otherwise, I uh, just felt like one trick shot and you're dead. And that was pretty much how our gameplay went. Overall, in terms of this game, 1-2 Switch, I think it's, you know, exactly what you see. It's a fun party game. I think it's a great way to show new players what the Nintendo Switch can do. That said, I agree with just about everybody in that this should be a launch title. It should be software that's just preloaded onto the console, like a Face Raiders, you know, on the Nintendo 3DS. Or the biggest example, Wii Sports. The big thing Wii Sports did was it showed other players what the Wii could do. And it worked even if they weren't people who played video games regularly. You don't need to know a lot of buttons, you just waggle the controller around and it was very easily understandable for people. And I feel like this game should serve that same purpose. But if they're going to sell it as a separate title, I don't even know what they're pricing it at. Uh, I certainly don't think I would rush out to grab this at $60. Um, it's going to limit the amount of people that you can get seeing this game. I think, it, I think it works as a great free commercial for Nintendo as software. But I don't know if it's something that I would run out and purchase because this isn't the gaming experience that I look for. But overall, that's everything I've got for this Nintendo Switch coverage. I tried to lump in all my thoughts, positive and negative, to give you guys a better idea of whether you'd want to buy or not buy uh, something from the Nintendo Switch, whether it's the console itself or the games. I tried my best. Hopefully it helped you guys out. If it helped you even a little bit, then I consider this a success. That said, I can't believe it, but the system is coming in just one and a half months, so we should have all kinds of more coverage, both here on YouTube and on my Twitch channel, uh, just playing the Switch, checking things out. How good's the online? What's the interface like? There's so many more things that I want to dig into, but this was really everything I was able to get from this preview event. I was also able to play ARMS, but unfortunately, our footage isn't great. It was required to be over-the-shoulder footage, so it's not as good. And on top of that, one of my Joy-Con ran out of battery, so I only had one arm. I just didn't think I could give a very good recap of what ARMS was like. So if you want to check that out, I'm sure there are many, many other places where you can see people's footage. But overall, I do want to thank you guys so much for checking out these videos, and I'll see you soon with more Nintendo content, and not so far away, more Nintendo Switch content.